Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this is the first lecture of this series, ESP English for Specific Purposes. Uh, my name is Lukman Shah and before embarking on this topic, I would like to introduce and enlist few abbreviation which is extensively used in ESP. So the terms, these abbreviation will be extensively used in these classes and in the books specified for this English for specific purposes. The first abbreviation is ELT, English Language Teaching, LSP, Language for Specific Purposes, ESP, English for Specific Purposes, EAP, English for Academic Purposes, EUP, English for Occupational Purposes, EVB, English for Vocational Purposes, and then EFL, English as a Foreign Language Teaching, ESP English for specific purposes like business English and English for academic purposes EAP English for legal purposes and English for social work so these are common or abbreviations which will be uh, in used in the slides as well as in the assignments or in the books relevant to this ESP teaching and learning so what is ESP? ESP is an offshoot of ELT English language teaching and this English for specific uh, specific purposes is a subset of English as a second or foreign language and it usually refers to teaching the English language to university students or to the peoples already in employment or jobian or uh, they are in some profession and in fact it is a sort of adult teaching uh, with the concept that the students or the learner of ESP will be adult and they will be grown up and this is with reference to the particular vocabulary and skills they need because they are already in their professions and they are doing jobs that they are uh, adopted uh, special professions special fields now look at the origin of ESP uh, this is very uh, nascent and the recent development when uh, compared with other uh, fields of uh, English. So the origin of ESP is uh, dated back to some 1960. But before that, uh, the word LSP language for specific purposes was in vogue. And the origin of this language for specific purposes can be traced as far back as the Greek and Roman empires. And in the same vein, Stevens 1977 stated that the history of LSP, uh, which is replaced now by the ESP, although this LSP word is still in vogue, still we, uh, people are using this LSP. And this is, again, uh, this word is uh, came in spotlight in the modern or in this 21st century and this is LSP uh, the history of LSP goes back at least to half a century back uh, referring to the uh, Tom Chanson and Alan Water 1987 the book famous book uh, about this ESP learning so ESP was not a planned and coherent movement but rather a phenomenon that grew out of a number of converging trends. In fact, there was no planning, there was no coherent movement for this ESP development or the origin of ESP. And this was a sort of accidental, uh, this was a sort of sudden uh, happening that few emerging trends after the 1945 led to the emergence or to the formation of ESP. We can identify three main reasons common to the emergence of all ESP. Abit 1987 page 6 and what were those three main reasons the first was the demand of a brave new world what brave new world the world after 1945 the second world war the dynamics and parameters of the world was quite changed after 1945 and there was a tremendous <coughs> improvement in the field of economy, in the field of business, and in the field of technology. At the second revolution in linguistics, in fact, for the first time in, in the 20th century, uh, the scholars or uh, the people like uh, Noam Chomsky, uh, 
they for the first time treated language on scientific uh, terms or in a scientific lines and uh, which gave birth to the linguistics uh, language the scientific studies of language so in revolution in the field of linguistics like linguistics sociolinguistics and psycholinguistics clinical linguistics uh, forensic linguistics and there are a lot of fields of linguistics so uh, this also give impetence or uh, a sort of stimulation towards the formation or the emergence of esp and a new focus on learner in fact the paradigm shift from the teacher centered learning teaching towards the learner center so these three main uh, reasons uh, which caused the emergence of esp <coughs> now we can identify these three main reasons the demand of a new brave world after 1945 there was an uh, a boom or an expansion of scientific technological economic uh, on the airplane uh, on international level so the technology and economy were the cry of the day and for this expansion of this technology and economy people were in need of the dire need of english learning because uh, the country which were in in the spotlight or which were advanced in technology and in economy uh, the language of those countries were english like uh, usa and the uh, uk and other european country so the people who uh, who are not having intact with our uh, the mother tongue or the national language of uh, those country uh, other than english they were in dire need of have these courses uh, like esp after 1945 the modern world live in an age of massive and unprecedented growth in all activities especially the economy the technical technical the scientific ones which dominated the two divergent forces and definitely inevitably it stimulates a demand for an, an international language and this vacuum which was created uh, with the with the want of uh, uh, any language which can fill uh, the gap of this international language this place so english was the only language which was labeled and titled as international language and for this reason this english was included in the sixth international working languages of uno and almost uh, after 1945 each and every material uh, whether regardless of the origin of the country the manual the brochure were translated into at least english more than 80% of the material of the world was translated uh, in the technical domain and in the, this home employees and other field were translated in english so english was the main language the international language and it uh, performed a task of the windows like a window through the wall so opening this window and the scene or the view of the world will be cleared consequently it created a new generation of learners the modern the post war generation who knew specifically why they were learning a language before this english for general purpose egp uh, the purpose was generalized and the uh, aim was not specific but now with the emergence of esp the teacher and learner are well aware of their uh, aim and their objectives the teacher is aware of that why he or she is teaching and the learner is quite aware of that why they are learning so this was a sort of aiming fulfilling the daily needs which consist in the comprehension of simplest brochures or manuals are to most complicated genre of discourse as law text and scientific articles so when the focus and concentration was shifted from the generality of english towards the specific field or sp specific uh, need this was the reason which created esp the esp approach some linguists being aware of the world changes began to focus their studies on the ways in which language is used in real situation so traditional approach in language study centered the attention on the grammatical rules governing the language usage that was found that the dis discourses varies according to the context 
it was necessary to reorganize the teaching and learning methodologies and make the specific features of each situation the basis of learner courses that is called the target situation when target arises so what would be the format of english in that particular situation for example if there is a person who is a receptionist in the hotel hotel series and hoteling and a person who is there in the medical profession he is or she is nurse so uh, the demand or the need of the hotel receptionist and the doctor or the nursing staff will be quite different from each other so focusing on these needs the target situation what situation is demanding or english content and teaching should be according to that particular situation situation based context based and this was the foundation in which the edfs of esp is developed now the english used by doctors linguists or officer is not based on the same terminological terms consequently the teaching and learning process was directed on the basis of the use of specific corpora for each field taking the material taking the vocab of that particular field and then teaching them the english which is relevant to that particular field this was the domain and area of this esp so general information about some people described esp as simply being the teaching of english for may any purposes and that could be specified this is the one we the others however were more precise describing it as the teaching of english used in academic studies or the teaching of english for vocational or professional purposes both are both are right and both are correct but their perspective or angle of seeing or viewing are different in these two now the esp is according to mackey and mount fee for 1978 esp is generally used to refer to the teaching of english for a clearly utilitarian purpose this utilitarian purpose is definitely the profession based the subject based the field based the specialism of that particular person who is in need of this english and in general information the students study english not because they are interested in the english language or english culture as such but because they need english for work for study or for their prof profession purposes robinson 1991 is of the view in fact and this is very accurate when it comes uh, to the utility or the practical aspects of english now the teaching of esp a separate activity within english language teaching this is the offshoot of the elt english language teaching and esp must be taught by studying a content based subject definitely the content should be extracted from that particular field and knowledge of the language becomes the means of learning content so clil content and language integrated learning definitely when focused on the language when focus on that particular field that profession and extracting the content or material and then devising or designing the course so that is what we can say about this the teaching of esp a definition of esp stevens is of the opinion that esp is designed to meet specific needs of the learners this is not what is what is there in the egp english for general purposes in esp there will always be a need a need analysis of the learner and in that we will be able to design our esp course to meet that particular need of learner so related in the content themes and topics to particular disciplines or occupation this is occupation based this is discipline based this is profession based definitely this is aimed on specific thing the specific the purpose is specific not a general center on language appropriate to those activities in syntax lexis discourse and so on in contrast with general english where the things are taught as they are for general purposes regardless of uh, on focusing on any particular all is all is normal but in esp something will be specific and special so key stages in esp is the you will be need of this need analysis or each and everything the course design the esp teaching each and everything will be revolving around the need analysis the wants the necessities of learner and the gaps 
what they are and what they should be and why they are in need of this this english language why so this why and when and how and where uh the six uh on is serving of the kipling are the six questioning uh, words which can lead us to define the need analysis then the course design this is very important in the course there are various techniques and various approaches to the course design the learner center the skill center and the language center and definitely material selection this is again there is objective way to select something and there is subjective way to select then then there is validity there is reliability there is a teachability and a lot of other uh, aspects should be included when uh, we are selecting material and then teaching and learning this is again how to teach and how to learn what should be the teaching learning method the methodologies whether it should be in in structuralist form whether it should be the notional or functionalist and a lot of other ways to te to teach and learn and then evaluation this is very important evaluation uh, in esp uh, we will be uh, in two two phases to evaluate evaluation of language learning and evaluation of material and the constantly there will be a constant feedback to update and to revise and edit that and then application where it will be apply definitely the field is very vast when uh, when there are uh, millions of the profession in the world so there will be millions of application of this and then esp teacher after all at the center of this all the esp teacher is very important because he will be defining the needs he will be designing the course selection material each and everything the language issues in esp is very important grammar this is very important and then the vocab technical and semi technical in that particular field and then discourse analysis this is the higher stage from the sentence level and this is also important text in context and the situational a uh, communication and then elp english for legal purpose this is an instance of el uh, esp so difficulties in elp let's Uh, this is for example so there will be words polysemy phrases foreign and archaic words double and triplets and technical vocabulary and we'll have to deal with these to communicate them to the any uh, legal uh, uh, students or legal trainees and then polysemy definitely words that have several meanings one meaning in ordinary english and another meaning as a legal term the importance of the context very important the text in context or language used in context is very important situational and then every language versus the language for legal purpose that is language used in special context in special situation in examples common act consideration tender and redeem etc now look at the phrases collocation examples and then recent her contract sham marriage valid reasons voidable contract and wrongful death so look at these terms and phrases in normal or in routine life they will be conveying some different meaning but when it comes to the specific uh, discourse the esp then the meanings will be quite in domain of the legal uh, or law and there will be the foreign terms latin terms above from the beginning affidavit in fact very common word and the bona fide under defective etc exemplic gratia adest and entirely all these are foreign or latin words and we should be able to convey these uh, uh, to the esp learner and then french terms aquis communiciers voir dire jury selection the preliminary questions of fitness and in a parley like parliament the negotiation in the chattels and executor in examples look at the rewrite the following passage the statement for professional services that you will find enclosed here with is in all likelihood somewhat in excess of your expectation in circumstances i believe it is incumbent upon me to avail myself of this opportunity to provide you with an explanation of the causes therefore 
it is my considered judgment that the three factors are responsible for this development the source are uh, vidic plain english for lawyers page 57 this is a passage extracted from then and look at this the plain english formulation of that five seven or ten sentences and this this is uh, uh just the meaning of that the extract the bill i am sending you with this letter is probably higher than you expected and i would like to explain three reason why so look at this and the next the english in legal context and the ling english in plain context and this was the end of the lecture thanks for being with me